In the previous video, I posed the question, what do Fernando Gonzalez, Fernando Verdasco, and Roger Federer all share? What part of their game is the same, and why does that allow them to match up well against Andy Murray? Well, the answer is that they all have big forehands, and more generally, they're all attacking style of players. And an attacking player can be successful against anybody, but particularly against somebody like Murray. Murray, what his game is predicated on is change in speed, change in direction, changing spin, and forcing his opponents into poor shots, either errors or weak shots, short balls that Murray can then attack. Well, if you're playing someone like Gonzalez, who's playing well, that forehand's on, doesn't matter how much variety you have. If he's hitting big shots and winners, you're going to lose. So the problem I had with Murray's slicing of that ball back, so let's go back to that scenario. Golbus hits a mediocre shot, and then Murray slices the ball into the corner here. Well, let's say that instead of being Golbus, this is now Fernando, uh, Fernando Gonzalez, excuse me. And the exact same thing happens. Gonzalez slices a ball over here, a ball that Murray could run around but doesn't, just elects to slice it in the corner. So then Gonzalez moves over here hits the ball back. Well, this is still a neutral rally, so what's the problem with that? Why is it a bad idea for Murray to keep this a neutral rally? Well, what that does is it allows Gonzalez to set up a big forehand later in the point. By not taking control of the point, now you've given Gonzalez more opportunities to hit big shots to take control. So what might be a better play and you might see Murray make this adjustment. He's a real smart player, so he probably knows this. Instead of slicing the ball against someone like Gonzalez or Federer, he should run around it and then hit a bigger shot. Maybe forehand into the corner, more spin, pull him out wide, or go inside in into the open court. And even though you're hitting it to someone like Gonzalez's forehand, he has to run a lot to get to the ball, so Murray is going to be in control of that point. So that's my feeling uh, on this scenario. Murray was having too much variety almost. He wasn't taking control of the point. He was content to just slice the ball back. And that's not going to be effective when you have a guy who's clicking and has big shots. You have to limit his opportunities to take control of the point by taking control of the point yourself. So let me know what you think of my analysis. Please post some comments below and let me know what you think Andy should do against someone like Federer if they meet in the finals.